stampers? Well, as I continue putting together the extra projects from my monthly stamp class, I am now ready to share with you and put together my extra sets of this shadow box card. Now be sure to check out my other videos. I show you how to do the yellow and black card with the measurements, as well as the little packets that came with a paper pumpkin kit. So be sure to watch those videos. But let's concentrate right now on this adorable shadow box card. First, before I give you the measurements of all these little pieces, I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Debbie, who shared this adorable card with me, and I believe she found the card from another demonstrator, Julie Davison. So I just want to give credit where credit is due. Thank you so much, Debbie and Julie, for this amazing card. So, all right, get your paper and pencils ready because there are several pieces and you're going to need to write down some measurements. Now, the card base itself, I used a Pacific Point and it is cut to 10 and a half by 5 and a half. So you'll be able to get one card out of one sheet of our 8 and a half by 11 cardstock. So 10 and a half by 5 and a half. And you're going to need to score it. You're going to score it at three and a half, six and a half, seven, and ten. Okay, so it's all of these score lines, just like this. This is kind of what you're looking for for your card base. So we'll come back to that in just a moment. Now let me give you the other pieces. For the front, you're going to need a piece of Whisper White. And it's cut to three and a half by two and a half. And then the yellow mat on top will be three and a half by two and three quarters. So they're the same length, just the yellow's a little bit bigger, so we have those pieces on top and bottom showing through. The white piece you're gonna need for the inside that slides down there, I cut it to two and three quarters by two and three quarters square. And then this green is Wild Wasabi, I believe, yep, had to check, Wild Wasabi. And it's just shy of two inches, so it's just under two inches by, and I cut it to four and a half, because keep in mind, when you go to put it in the ornate tag topper punch to make this cute punch top, it's going to take off a little bit um, of that length. Okay, so just under two by four and a half. For stamping, I use the Painted Petals stamp set, and on your larger rectangular piece, I just basically stamped some of these little leaf shapes. I used uh, this one here and this one. I just stamped randomly with Wild Wasabi, and then I used this flower, um, this cluster of little flowers in Pacific Point on the corner, so it's kind of up to you how you want it to look. I stamped the You Are Amazingly Amazing in the black memento ink. And then on the inside, on the square piece, I did the tulips, uh, the stems, these little guys, in wild wasabi, and the little tulips. Now what's cool is they match perfectly for the tops. We're going to do those also in Pacific Point. So, um, and then the dots are in daffodil. Forgot to mention that on that first piece. But my whole um, idea with this video today is to show you how the card works and assemble, not necessarily show you me stamping all of the pieces. So let's get started putting everything together. Okay, now I've got my card base. It's cut and scored and ready to go. I want to show you how you can get this hole and make sure you have it in the right place. So after you've done your score marks, be sure to fold on all your score marks so you have this shape. This is kind of what you're looking for. And of course, you won't have your hole punched out just yet. But what I did is I made sure I had the shape right, the correct way. I put my hand on the top, flipped it around. You get your two inch circle punch and then you slide it in. I know this is the top, so I slide it in as far as it'll go till it stops. And the other thing that's really cool is the paper 
actually where the score marks are it folds right around the punch perfectly so you know it's centered in there and then you just punch out that circle okay so that's how I got that now the first thing I want to do is add this little piece inside now since my thank you is stamped a little high on this I'm gonna put it a little lower and you'll probably see a little of the blue poking out in the back but that's okay I don't mind so the first thing I do is put a little adhesive on and then I'm just gonna lightly set it down I'm not gonna press it yet because I want to make sure I have it kind of in there where I want it so that that way if I don't press it I can usually pick it back up and move it a little bit more but I think that looks actually pretty good I'm gonna go with that so now I'm gonna press it into place now the other thing we're gonna want to do before we assemble this part is attach the front pieces so I've got my little tag right there and I'm gonna attach these two together the painted petal stamp set is so fun to use and just kind of think of it as stylized flowers it doesn't have to be perfect I like to stamp some of it off you know where it's on my page on my paper some of its off hanging off the edge I like that but let's also before we attach this I definitely want to add a little bit of twine and that's from the painted petals um, painted blooms cotton twine it comes in three different colors and I just use white now let's see this is the big trick of the day if I can actually on camera tie a bow that looks decent this is a lot of pressure I want you to know my ladies give me a hard time about having to tie bows oh I think that is probably the fastest and best I have ever done in the history of all my videos seriously doing a bow my goodness okay so the other thing is make sure you're looking at the front and let's attach that And I'm going to put that all the way up at the top. And then adhesive on this piece. Just like that. There we go. All right. So now let's put it all together. The last step is to put some red sticky strip like I've done along it's this good old sticky strip and it is sticky so don't once it's stuck don't try to pull it off you'll rip your papers um, what we're gonna do is attach it to the front like this and I want you to keep in mind when you go to close it it will bow it will not lay flat at first and that's okay don't worry about it over time it will squash down more this one I've opened and closed probably a hundred times because I had it in my class so lots of people have been handling it now here's a little tip for getting this red backing off this tape you can use pointy scissors to go to the corner or the edge a lot of people like to start picking it off right in the middle so either way either way that works so what we're gonna do is I just let it rest at kind of a 90 degree angle bring this up and now at this point I'll press it down a little bit more and there you have it a very cute fun shadow box card thanks so much for watching today and be sure to check out the other projects that we made at our monthly stamp class and I always have lots going on over at stampintx.com thanks so much and subscribe to my channel for more fun project ideas happy stamping